What if I told you you've been lied to about personal finance? Not intentionally, but because one-size-fits-all advice rarely works in a world as diverse as ours. We often hear about the seven steps to financial success, but let's be real. Life isn't a staircase, it's more like a jungle gym. So, today we're going to debunk the myth of the seven steps to financial success, and explore a more flexible approach. Ready to swing through the finance jungle with me? Forget about the seven steps for a moment, let's focus on the core principles that underpin successful personal finance. First, let's talk about budgeting. It's like a financial roadmap. It's the principle that helps you navigate from where you are now to where you want to be. Picture this, you're on a journey to a city you've never been to without a map or GPS. It's going to be quite a challenge, right? That's exactly what happens when you don't budget. You're essentially driving blind in your financial journey. Next up, saving. Saving isn't just about stashing away every single penny and living a miser's life. It's about setting aside a portion of your income for future use. Think of it like this, saving like planting seeds. You plant today so you can reap the benefits tomorrow. Then we have debt management, this a biggie. It's about taking control of your debts instead of letting them control you. It's like being the captain of your ship a storm. Without a strategy, you'll be tossed around by the waves of interest and late fees. But with a solid debt management plan, you can navigate through the storm and come out on the other side. Investing is our next principle. Investing is like the magic bean in Jack and the Beanstalk. It has the potential to grow and yield returns. But remember, it's not about getting rich quick, it's about growing your wealth steadily over time. And lastly, we have risk management. This is about being prepared for the unexpected. It's like carrying an umbrella, even when it's sunny outside. You might not need it, but if it starts raining, you'll be glad you have it. These principles are the building blocks of personal finance. They provide a foundation but it's up to you to build your financial house. Each of these principles can be tailored to your unique circumstances and goals. There's no one-size-fits-all solution in personal finance. It's about understanding these principles and using them to create a plan that works for you. So forget about a rigid seven-step plan. Focus on understanding these principles and applying them in a way that makes sense for you. And remember personal finance isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's not about instant results, but about making consistent progress over time. It's a journey, and like any journey it's not always going to be smooth sailing. There will be bumps along the way, but with these principles at your side you'll be well equipped to navigate through any financial storm. So let's embark on this journey together. Let's ditch the idea of a rigid 7-step plan and embrace a more flexible and personalized approach to personal finance. After all, your financial journey should be as unique as you are. Let's build a financial future that's not just about surviving, but thriving. So, are you ready to take the first step? Let's get started. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Now let's talk about how to make these principles work for you. It's all about personalization. When it comes to personal finance, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Your financial journey is as unique as you are influenced by your dreams, your ambitions, and your current circumstances, the key to making these principles work for you lies in adaptation. Let's imagine for a moment, suppose you're fresh out of college with student loans breathing down your neck, your priority might be to tackle that debt head on. So your approach would involve a strong focus on debt management strategies, like targeting high interest loans first, refinancing, or even consolidating your debt. On the other hand, if you're a mid-career professional with a comfortable salary, your focus might shift towards growing your wealth. Here, the principles of investing come into play. You might be looking into stocks, bonds or real estate or perhaps dabbling in the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Now consider a third scenario. You're nearing retirement and your thoughts are on preserving your wealth and ensuring a comfortable post-work life. Your approach might center around risk management, diversifying your investment portfolio and maybe even exploring annuities. Notice how the same principles take on different forms based on individual circumstances? That's the beauty of personal finance. It's not about blindly following a rigid 7-step plan, it's about understanding your own financial landscape and tailoring these principles to suit your needs. The power to shape your financial future lies in your hands. You are the artist, and these principles are your palette. Paint a picture that's reflective of your aspirations. Blend the colors of budgeting, saving, investing and risk management to create your personal financial masterpiece. As you embark on this journey, remember that it's okay to make mistakes. They're not failures, they're opportunities for learning and growth. 
And remember the road to financial well-being is a marathon, not a sprint. Patience, perseverance, and continuous learning are your best allies. Remember there's no right way to do personal finance. The best strategy is the one that works for you. So, ditch the rigid plans, embrace flexibility, and let's create a financial strategy that's as unique as you are. We've talked about principles and personalization. Now let's discuss the third P people. Because let's face it, personal finance can be a labyrinth, a minefield, a roller coaster ride. But you don't have to navigate it alone. In the world of personal finance, community is key. It's about sharing experiences, learning from one another, and pooling wisdom. It's about getting advice from others who've been where you are and lending a hand to those who are where you once were. Imagine you're on a journey and you've got a map. But this map isn't like the ones in your school geography books. It's alive, changing as you and others traverse the landscape, marking pitfalls, shortcuts, and treasure troves. That's what a community brings to your personal finance journey. A living map, rich with the knowledge and experiences of countless other travelers. And while we're on the subject of journeys, remember that old saying, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step? Well, in personal finance, that step could be joining a community. There are countless forums, social media groups, and local clubs dedicated to personal finance, each one a potential goldmine of wisdom. But remember, it's not just about taking. It's about giving, too. Got a great budgeting tip? Share it. Found a fantastic investment opportunity? Let others know. Your experiences, your knowledge, your wisdom could be the missing piece in someone else's financial puzzle. And it's not just about the big wins. Sometimes the most valuable lessons come from our mistakes. So don't be shy about sharing those either. After all, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. So there you have it. The power of community and personal finance. It's about learning, sharing, supporting and growing together. Because at the end of the day, personal finance isn't just about the money, it's about the people. Your personal finance journey doesn't have to be a solo trip, there's a whole community out there ready to support you. Finally, let's talk about the most important P in personal finance. Progress. What's the secret sauce to achieving financial freedom? It's simple, never stop learning. Personal finance isn't just about counting dollars and cents, it's about understanding how money works, how it grows, and how to use it to achieve your goals. No matter where you are on your financial journey, remember, there's always more to learn. Whether it's mastering the art of budgeting, decoding the mysteries of the stock market, or navigating the labyrinth of tax laws, the world of personal finance is vast and ever-changing. Just like a professional athlete doesn't stop training after winning a championship, you shouldn't stop learning about finance after achieving a milestone. Keep reading books, keep attending seminars, keep watching educational videos like this one. Yes, financial education is an ongoing process, and the more you learn, the better you'll be at managing your money. But why is continuous learning so important? Well, think about it. The financial landscape is constantly changing. New investment opportunities arise, tax laws evolve, and economic conditions fluctuate. To stay ahead of the curve, you need to keep updating your knowledge. Consider your financial journey like a road trip. You wouldn't set off without a map, right? Similarly, you need a financial roadmap to guide you. But maps need updating as roads change, and so does your financial plan. As your life changes, a new job, a new baby, retirement, your financial plan needs to adapt. And just like a road trip, the journey is often more important than the destination. The lessons you learn along the way, the mistakes you make and learn from, and the victories you celebrate are all part of your unique financial journey. Remember, personal finance isn't a destination, it's a journey. Keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep moving forward. The road to financial freedom is paved with knowledge. So keep that engine of curiosity running and remember to enjoy the ride. So there you have it. Forget about the seven steps to financial success. We've explored the principles of personal finance, emphasized the necessity of personalization, highlighted the value of community support, and reminded you that this is a lifelong learning journey. The true secret to personal finance isn't a magic number of steps, it's understanding these principles and applying them in a way that works for you. Now what's your first step going to be? Don't leave just yet, we've got one more important message for you. If you found this video valuable, we'd love for you to join our community. Click that subscribe button and become a part of our journey towards financial freedom. Here we share more financial tips and tricks and together we can make better financial decisions. Remember your journey to financial freedom starts here. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now.